everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making number 23, Granny Square. 23 is awesome. So we are going to be making this as just a scrap yarn project. I'm using all Red Heart yarns and just scraps that I had collected uh, from previous projects that I had just left over yarn in. So there's just medium size four, ply, uh, four yarn, which is a 10 ply yarn. So you can use any type of worsted weight yarn that you have. Also for all 365 days of granny squares, all squares are going to be made using an H size hook, which is five millimeters. So make sure you have that handy as well as a scissors and a yarn needle. We're going to be cutting our yarn, sewing in our ends, all that good stuff. But um, for today's granny square, um, you know, make sure you check out that link uh, in the description of this video. It'll take you to the blog where you'll find out all where to get all 365 days of granny squares. If you uh, click the photo, then you will get um, to go to the, the video tutorial of that granny square. So check out the links in the description of this video um, and we'll just get started in making uh, number 23. Oh, I want to thank my dad, Fouad Asmat, for taking the time out to make these videos with us. He's working so hard, so I can't go without mentioning that. So let's just get started in making number 23 granny square. All right, to start off, we have to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end and then fold that down and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we're ready to go. To start off, we have to chain five. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, four and five and then we're going to slip stitch in the first chain there so the fifth chain from the hook the loop that's on your hook doesn't count so count one two three four and five insert your hook right in there and then yarn over pull through and through so we just made a ring there and now we have to chain up three which is going to count as our first stitch so yarn over pull through one two and three that counts as our first stitch. And now we're going to put three double crochets into this ring here. So yarn over, go into that ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so it looks like we have four double crochets because that chain up three counts as a stitch. Now we want to chain two, one and two, and now we want to go back into that ring for four double crochets. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's one, two, three, and four, whoops, four, okay, and then chain two, one and two, and then go back into the ring. We're going to put four more double crochets in there. So one, two, three, and four, okay. Then we want to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And then go back into that ring for four more double crochets. One, two, three, oops. I'm working over my straggler here in the back, so just wanna make sure that's sewn in. There's three and one more, four. There we go. Now we want to chain two, one and two, and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. One, two, three, right at the top right there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Pull tight. Okay, just like that, there's our start of our square. Now, at this point, if you are not changing color, what you would do is go back into this chain two space and make a slip stitch. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through, and then uh, go on to round number two with us, which we would be, you would chain up two and go on to round number two. Uh, but I'm gonna fasten off at this point. So I'm gonna cut my yarn, so chain up one, cut that yarn and then pull that through. 
and then insert your hook into any corner which I'm just gonna go right into this corner and pick up my new color just by hooking it on my hook and pulling through and then we're going to uh, chain up two one and two like that and that counts as our first half double crochet and then we are going to put two more half double crochets into this uh, corner space here so yarn over go into that uh, space yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that's a half double crochet so then yarn over go back into that space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay that is two so it looks like we have three here the chain up two counts as a stitch and then one and two okay so it looks like we have three half double crochets there now we are going to um, put one half double crochet in the space between each of these uh, double crochets here which this is a chain of three but it's counted as a double crochet so right between these two stitches right here and right here in between those we're gonna put a half double crochet so yarn over go in that space there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay then hop over to the next one right here right in between these two yarn over go in between those two yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops and once more we're going to jump in between these two stitches yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay so we just made a half double crochet in the spaces between each post there and now we're at the next corner so we're going to put three half double crochet chain two and three half double crochets into these corners so one two and three okay then chain two and then three half double crochets one two and three okay now we're going to repeat what we just did on this side we're going to go in the space between each post here okay each of these uh, double crochets we are going to yarn over go in between these two stitches in between the posts yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay hop over to this next space in between these two yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops and again yarn over going between these next two stitches here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops now jump to the corner here we're going to put three half double crochets chain two and three half double crochets one two and three there we go and now you know what to do just put a half double crochet into each one of these spaces between these uh, double crochets here and then do your last corner there and then do your last side I'll meet you up when we are going to go on to round number three all right so I'm just coming up on the end here just make uh, three half double crochets in this last corner one two three and then chain two one and two and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up two of this round so one two right at that chain up two because that counts as our first stitch just insert your hook right in there and then yarn over and pull through and pull through okay so this is what we have so now at this point um, if you are not changing color slip stitch back into that corner so just go back into that corner and then yarn over pull through and through and then chain up four and go on to round three with us but I'm gonna change color because this next part is really cool so I'm gonna uh, chain up one cut my yarn and pull that through pull tight insert your hook into any corner which I'm just gonna go right into this corner right here grab the new color by yarning over and just pulling it right through just hook it on like that and then chain up four one two three and four and that counts as our first treble crochet 
And now we're going to put two more treble crochets in there. So yarn over twice, that tre for treble crochet we yarn over twice, and then go into that same corner space, that same chain two space, we're going to yarn go in there, and then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a treble crochet. Okay, so this chain up four counts as our first treble crochet, and then we just made a treble crochet. Mm -hmm. And now we have to make another, um, let's see here, treble crochet, yes. So yarn over twice, go back into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. That's another treble. Now we want to make two double crochets in the same corner space. So a double crochet is just yarning over once. Go back into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, go back into that space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we have five stitches in there so far. Uh, chain up four, a treble, a treble, and two double crochets. Now we are going to skip over, let's see here, skip this next stitch which is our chain up two from our previous round and then skip the next stitch. So skip the next two stitches and in the next five stitches we are going to put a single crochet in each one of those. So just insert your hook, no yarning over, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then you should have two stitches left on this round, or on this uh, side, sorry, these two stitches left, and then you have your corner here. Okay, skip these two stitches here and go right into the corner, and we are going to make our corner. Now our corner mm -hmm. is two double crochet, three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochet, and two double crochet. <laughs> so bear with me here, we're gonna yarn over once, go into that corner, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back into that corner, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So two, two double crochet. Now we have to make three treble crochet, so yarn over twice, and make your treble crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, now we have to chain two, one and two, and then do opposite. So put three treble crochets and then two double crochets, all in the same corner. There's basically like 10 stitches in this corner here. So. Let's see, three treble crochets, and then two double crochets. Okay, so like that. And then we're gonna skip, you kinda have to move this up aside so you can see this first stitch here. We're gonna skip this first stitch and this next stitch. And then in the next five stitches, we're going to put a single crochet in each one of those. So insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then you see here you have two stitches left on this row, and we're in the corner now, over here. Okay, so now we are going to make our corner again. So two double crochet, one and two then three treble crochet, one, two, three, then chain two, one and two, and then three treble crochet, one, two, three, and then two double crochet. all in that same corner. Okay, then skip this next stitch and the next stitch, and then in the next five stitches we'll put one single crochet. One, two, three, 
four, and five. So just do this last corner here now, and this last side, and then I'll meet you up and when we are finishing uh, this round, and we'll go on to round four together. All right, so I'm back here, and um, just skip those last two stitches, and then the last corner here, we're going to put two double crochet, and then three treble crochet, and then we're going to chain two and then just slip stitch to the chain of four. Or, yeah, the chain of four. So, I have to think about that. If I chained up four in the beginning. There we go. So, one, two, three trebles. Okay, so I did two double crochet, three treble crochet, chain two. And now we're going to slip stitch to the chain of four here. So, one, two, three, four right at the top of that one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, so now uh, for going on to round four, I'm going to change color, but um, if you are not changing color, just slip stitch back into the corner here. Just go into the corner space, the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, and through, and then uh, chain up one. Uh, because we are going to do a corner so um, but at this point I'm just going to chain up one cut my yarn grab my new color insert my hook into that corner space hook on my new color and then I'm just going to chain up one it's not going to count as a stitch or anything we're just attaching so now in this segment um, because our square does not look like a square it looks like some <laughs> random wonky thing so we're gonna we're gonna now make our square so we're gonna go straight across so uh, we have to do uh, a few different types of stitches to make this um, have a straight edge so in this square in this uh, corner uh, space here this chain two space we are going to put um, two half double crochets so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three, and then again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. Okay, so it looks like we have two, I just want to make sure it looks like there's two in there, and it does. So now, there's two in there, so now we're going to put a half double crochet into the next three stitches and you can see here our chain up four here is a stitch so we're going to yarn over go into that chain up four yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay so we're putting a half double crochet into the next three so one two and three Okay, just like that. Now we're coming down here to these two stitches and we're going to put a double crochet in each one of those double crochets. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then again, yarn over, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now in these next uh, five stitches here, we're going in the next two stitches right here we're going to put two a treble crochet in each of those we're going to skip that next one and then we're going to put two a treble crochet in each one of those two single crochets so we're working across these single crochets now so yarn over twice go into this first single crochet here for a treble crochet and then yarn over twice go into the next single crochet for a treble crochet now we're going to skip this next one and just do a treble crochet into the next one after that. Okay, and then we'll do another treble crochet into this next one here. Okay, just like that. Now in each of these double crochets here, we're going to put a double crochet in each one of those. So just yarn over once, go into there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So a double crochet in each of the double crochets. Now in each one of these uh, treble crochets, we're going to put a half double crochet. And a half double crochet is yarn over once, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, so each one of those, so that's three, like that. And now we're at the corner. So we, in our corners, we're putting um, two um, 
half double crochets, chain two and two half double crochets. So one, two, then chain two, and then two half double crochets. One and two. All right, so I'll show you another side here. This is our repeat here. We're going to put a half double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, and three. Then in the, those are our treble crochets from the previous row. So now on this next two stitches, we're gonna put a double crochet on each of those double crochets. Okay, then we're hitting the single crochets here. In this first two single crochets, we're gonna put a treble crochet in each one of those. There's a random hair in my yarn. There we go. So make sure you yarn over twice. There we go. Okay, so a treble crochet in these first two single crochets, then we're gonna skip the next single crochet and then put a treble crochet in each of these two uh, single crochets. Okay, and then in the next two stitches, we are putting a double crochet in each one of those. And then in the next three stitches, we're going to put a half double crochet in each one of those. Okay, then in the corner, we're going to put our, um, what was it, two half double crochet, chain two and two half double crochet. One, two, chain two, and one, two. Okay. Then you kind of got to move this over so you can see your first stitch there. We're going to put a half double crochet in each of these next three stitches. And then a double crochet in the next two stitches. And then a treble crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to skip the next stitch and then we'll put a treble crochet in the stitch after that and a treble crochet in the stitch after that and then a double crochet in the next two stitches and then a half double crochet in the next three stitches and then we're at the corner, so you know what to do. Put your two half double crochet, chain two and two half double crochet, and then just repeat that side one more time, and then I'll meet you up and uh, we will finish this round together. All right, I'm just finishing up here, putting my last two uh, half double crochets in this corner here, and then we're going to chain two, and then slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet of this round right here yarn over pull through and through. Now at this point you can fasten off and be done with your square but uh, follow along I'm going to do one more round on this square um, just uh, to fasten off I'm just going to chain up one cut my yarn and pull that through and then insert your hook into the corner and pull up your new color like I said, if your square is uh, as big as you want it to be at this point, you can fasten off, but I'm going to add one more round here. Uh, just chain up one, and then we're going to put two half double crochets into this corner. It's just a very simple round here of half double crochets. And then I'm going to chain one and then skip this next stitch, which is the first um, half double crochet of this next round, and go into this next stitch for a half double crochet. Oops, there we go. And then chain one, skip the next stitch, and put a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch for a half double crochet. Then chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch for a half double crochet. And just do that all the way across to the next corner here 
And then in the corners, I'm just going to put two half double crochets and then chain two and then two half double crochets. Okay. So this is just a very simple, simple one here. And then, um, so I have, if you, if you have two left or one left, just go into the corner for your corner, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. Okay, then skip this first stitch and go into this next stitch. Oh, we had to chain one, I'm sorry. Chain one, and then skip this stitch, go into the next stitch for a half double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch for a half double crochet, chain one, skip, half double crochet, chain one, skip, next stitch, half double crochet. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up when I'm finished with my granny square. All right, I'm just finishing up this round, just putting my last two half double crochets in this corner and then chain two and then slip stitch to the beginning um, half double crochet and then yarn over, pull through and through and to fasten off, I just chain up one, cut my yarn and pull that through, pull tight. So in all of your ends, if you changed color multiple times, you will want to sew in all of your ends. And um, by doing that, I just um, yarn my needle and then just go underneath the stitches just to hide it with the corresponding color, of course. You don't want to sew in red with blue or something. Just like that. And then cut out any extra. Stretch that out to make it look good. And there you have it. Our square is complete. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make number 23 granny square. This was a lot of fun to make and I hope you enjoyed it. So make sure you check out those links in the description of this video. I'll have the link to the blog. If you have any questions about this project, the 365 days of granny squares project, check out that link to the blog. Click that link and it'll take you to the blog. It'll take you to all 365 granny squares. So you click the photo, it'll take you to the video tutorial. Also, um, you know, any questions you may have regarding this pattern or this project um, if you want to know what we're gonna do with it at the end we're gonna sew them all together uh, attaching them and uh, all that stuff so that's in the description of this video also check out my Facebook make sure to join me on Facebook share your photos on Facebook check out the posts by others pay, um, part of my pay, Facebook because um, everybody's been posting fabulous crochet work and you can get inspiration from them and you know post your own work there and and just give encouragement to all of our crochet cr um, people who are yarn utopians <laughs> who are on there and then also um check out the link to my Instagram. If you post a photo on Instagram, be sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares for this project. Also hashtag yarn utopia. If you crochet anything on Instagram and want to share your work with me, hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your fabulous work. And then follow me on Snapchat and um, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. That red subscribe button uh, is in the top of the screen. So make sure that you click that so you'll get an update on when I post new videos. You'll get one every single day this year. Awesome! <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking everybody!